Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with some retail unboxings this evening. We'll be kicking things off with this Illusions Basketball Blaster. Then I'll be checking out some Topps Fire Baseball. So unfortunately no new deliveries today. It was about a 50-50 whether we'd get in that package that was originally supposed to arrive on Wednesday. Some Y, some new baseball, I think basketball, maybe even football. I think we had a pretty good assortment of stuff that was supposed to come in this week. Uh, Hollow Live Premium Boosters, the Nazareth reprint for Y Shorts. I think it was supposed to be like Immaculate Collegiate Football. There were supposed to be a lot of things coming in this week. Those will be coming in in next week so no new products to open up today of course everything delayed from hurricane ian if you guys missed my community tab update earlier today we are fine here at the shop the shop is fine just some cleanup to take care of very very thankful that things were not worse for us especially if you guys have not seen the damage down in fort myers the sanibel area Ooh, oof, horrible. So Hurricane Ian definitely came in strong, just more southwards than we were expecting initially when I was panicking on Monday. So everything is okay. Hopefully the power sustains itself. I know Pinellas is still having some issues, but for tonight, we should be good to go. So I did actually find this today when I was picking up some supplies at Target. I asked you guys on Instagram whether you wanted to see the illusions or the fire tonight, and it was about a 50-50 split. So it was 50-50 for a long time. Last time I checked, I think it was 52 to 48%. So I figured that's what I would do tonight here since we don't have any new products to check on out. So we'll be kicking things off with Illusions. Now, I don't believe I've ever opened up Illusions Basketball. I think I might have seen some in Chronicles before, but I have checked out Illusions Football, and I did like that design. So when I saw one lone bo blaster box on the shelf, I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up. Thought it would be fun. So look for autographs in Rookie Signs and Trophy Collection Signatures. Look for the Ultra Rare Retail Exclusive Tough Insert. There are six packs per box, six cards per pack. So this should be a pretty quick opening. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. Have some fun by snapping us into the corner. And look for Blaster Exclusive Emerald and Ruby Parallels. The 21-22 Illusions Basketball. Is there any no purchase necessary information? Uh, we'll take a look at the packs. I know the fire box, I think, actually has it on the side. So I'll try to show that off for you all if I do remember up next. Then we'll actually be having a third video tonight checking out some mystery redemptions from Cryptozoic. If you guys remember the CZX Crisis on Infinite Earths set had some redemptions. Mystery Auto, Mystery Sketch redemptions. That package arrived. So I'll be checking that out. And then here is the NPN info for those of you that would like to send off to get a free card at the same stated odds up above go ahead and pause the video there for you guys to take a look at that it looks like it needs to be postmarked by december so all right let me zoom back out not inwards zoom back out do, do, do. that looks all right okay so six cards per pack let's see if we can find anything cool have not checked out much basketball from the 21 22 season Whoa, I feel like we have been basketballists here on the channel for quite a long time. Kemba Walker base. Kyle Kuzma. I think it's still base, although I'll put it. Put Kyle in his own little pile, just in case. Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, Miles McBride, rookie. And then Norman Powell. And Kai Jones, rookie. Alrighty, so you look more blue than gold. Wonder if our McBride is a parallel. These two here, although they are red, they are similar. I don't know. I feel like all of these are just base. I really don't know. I like the design. I like the design, but it seems like all of them are base. So 150 card base, 50 rookies. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any inserts, so I don't think we should be having any parallels. All right. I do like the design. Keldon Johnson. Sadiq Bey. We have Instant Impact. Davian Mitchell. I'm familiar with Donovan Mitchell. Not so much Davian Mitchell. Lajuan. And Austin Reeves, rookie. Look, it's the little security tag. We have Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler. 
we have Shining Stars and Certain Lamello. That's cool. I like that. Cool design. Shining Stars. Reggie Jackson and Scotty Barnes rookie. All right, halfway through. Colin Sexton, Carmelo Anthony, Kevin Huerter, Tobias Harris. We have Moses Malone and Bones Highland, rookie. I believe we did find a Highland auto out of hoops. Yeah, well, we had hoops for a little bit there. I do feel like some of these cards are parallels, but I really can't tell. Joel Embiid, Spencer Dinwiddie. Ooh, something textured in here. Find this Shay. We have King of Cards. That is Zach Levine. Interesting. I do like the texture on these. Zach for the Bulls. King of Cards. Josh Christopher rookie. All right, one final pack. I like that Lamello insert. I'd say that's probably my favorite so far. Jason Tatum, Dwayne Wade. We have Tim Duncan and finishing off with a Sandro rookie. All righty. So it did feel like there were some parallels. Although definitely hard to tell. Definitely difficult to tell whether it is in the design or if it was a parallel. Because they look like they are all part of the design. Although, of course, the box did say that there are assorted blaster exclusive parallels. So I'm looking at the images on the back. And it just seems like the color matches the color on the front, color in the nameplate box, behind the eye and in the top design. I'm not sure that we had any parallels, especially as on the packs. It makes it seem like they are inserts. Look for these randomly inserted cards. Base, Trophy, Collection, Starlight, Slash, Emeralds. The rubies are numbered to 125. Yeah, it looks like the inserts would have parallels versus the base. Although, like I said, if I missed anything, let me know. I'm finding it difficult to tell. Finding it quite difficult. Some of them seem shinier than others. Oh, really, really don't know. We did have a couple of inserts, actually just three. Every other pack had an insert. The Davian Mitchell Instant Impact. Then we had the Shining Stars Lamello. Now I just like the color scheme here, very rainbowy. I wish it was a bit more bright. I feel like this in a numbered parallel would really pop. But I would pick that as my favorite to pull here out of the box. Lamello Ball. And then the Zach King of Cards. Which is an interesting insert title. I love the texture on this one. But still, the Shining Stars design-wise is my favorite. But let me know what you guys think of this year's Illusion Basketball. It did say Blaster Box exclusives. I think Illusions for Basketball is a retail-only product. I believe it was that way last year. If it's not this way this year, let me know. I don't recall seeing any solicits for hobby illusions. I did actually see some hanger packs as well. So perhaps the different retail products have different version exclusives. I don't think we found anything here, but that's cool. I like this Lamello. And I did see some articles about Lonzo, not, not Lamello, but Lonzo Ball's knee. Hopefully he can get the rehabilitation he needs for that. Reading up about the struggles he'd been through. Can't even really walk upstairs is ugh, ugh. Injuries, injuries are horrible. I ended up seeing last night I saw Tua get another concussion. That was scary to watch during Thursday night football. But anyways, off topic, off topic. That wraps off this opening here. And I'm going to sleeve up. I really like my, my new Lamello card. I'm going to sleeve it. That does wrap off this blaster box opening here. If you all enjoyed it, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments or me. Thoughts on this year's illusion? Did I miss anything? Did I mispronounce any names? Go ahead and yell at me in the comments down below. 
And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love for you to join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But yes, continuing on our retail excursion up next, we'll be checking out one blaster box of Fire Baseball. So Fire, I know, is a retail-only product. There are blaster boxes. There's also, like, hobby boxes that have, like, guaranteed autos and whatnot. I haven't ever found any of those. I've only ever seen blasters. I checked out, I think, either Fire last year or the year prior on the channel. I've liked the design of it, so I'm excited to see what this year's looks like up next. And all right, before I get on out of this opening and into that Fire Baseball, I do have to give an extra special shout-out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Soltari, MT, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Bamboo, Jerry at Jiggy, Jonathan Scott, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinef Zen, Touchdown on Paper Unbreaded, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yeah, that does it for me here today on Basketball. Nice to check some out, even if it's just a retail blaster. I had fun, so I hope that you all did as well. All right, that wraps things on off here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next video. Bye.